Hey everyone, so I am back with another outfit of the day. I love long weekends. I feel so energized and refreshed and well rested. I just got back from a good friend's uh, wedding, so I got a little bit of sun. Um, I'm wearing a dress. I do have a bruise. Yesterday I put a little bit of concealer on it on my leg. Today I didn't because um, it's fading a little bit more and if I put makeup on it, it's going to goes like a little bit more like light. I don't know. Anyway, I had a little bit too much fun at her bachelorette party. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea where it came from. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, my outfit for today. Um, I'll start with my face. Um, for foundation, I did a little bit more of a heavier coverage than I did yesterday. Today, I have on uh, Dior Skin Nudes, like the gel formulation and the compact. Um, it's the cream to powder foundation and then on top of that I used the Laura Mercier's tinted moisturizer and I did a little bit of concealing under my eyes with Bobbi Brown's concealer stick. That stick is amazing. I love that concealer. It's one of my favorites. Um, for my eyebrows it's the same. I am wearing the Dior uh, Brow Styler, the Universal Brown. For my eyeshadow, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm wearing a really pretty brown color. Um, it's from the Dior Spring Clutch uh, collection. It's the uh, it's got three colors in it. Um, I I don't have the name of it. I don't know the name, but it's got the the one with the rose petals. It's really pretty. Um, I'm wearing the Lancome Art Liner. It, did it very, very thin today as opposed to how thick it was yesterday. Um, wearing the same mascara, which is the new look by Dior. And um, I put a little bit of Lancome's white eyeliner in uh, the corner of my eyes just to brighten them a little bit. I'm using a, um, for blush today, I'm using the L'Oreal Mousse. I don't remember the name of the color. Um, I'll put that below. I'm, in my blog, but uh, lips, I am wearing Max Snob, and um, I think that's everything for my face. And for earrings, um, I have these. These are like a light blue, like a. They're not white, and they have like a gold prong setting. Mm -hmm. These are from Aldo. Then um, uh, I have this ring that I got from Lulu's, mm -hmm. which is a cameo ring. It's gorgeous. It's just like a one size fits all. My nails are Dior's. I don't know the name of the color. Um, I have it over there. I will put that below as well. It's a really, really just pretty corally orange color. So I like that a lot. And then I'm wearing my wedding rings and that's everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up. Okay. So, oh, and then my necklace, I'm where I'm still wearing my Maya Brenner um, initial necklace and then I've got a gold cuff on that you can't really see but I like that it pops out the end of the the blazer so the blazer is by theory um, it's a great score that I found at winners if you can believe that or not um, it's just the fit in it and then the shoulders are amazing um, I just love it Okay, and then for my dress, I actually got this dress at amiclubwear.com. Um, I didn't think, like when I purchased it, I didn't have high expectations of like it, you know, when it arrived because of some reviews I've, I've seen on YouTube, but the material on this is so like smooth and soft. And it's very lightweight and uh, I just like it. It's a little too short to wear to the office. That's the bruise I was talking to you guys about. But um, I really like it. So then for shoes, I have these just kind of, um, these are like guess. I don't know what I would classify these as, but I love the strap in the front, the detail on them. Um, I think it makes it look a little bit more professional. And then for the purse, I would pair it with this um, Ivanka Trump bag. That. It's called the bracelet bag, and I, I think that it's just an, enough sparkle, and I like it a lot. 
Um, this I still have on my website for sale. I've got it in a, a gray color as well. But that's the outfit all together. I like it a lot. Um, it is a little bit too short to wear to the office, but... Um, or I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you wear the suit on office job? I think it might be a little too short. I don't know. Ah. So that is my outfit for today. And um, I'm going to go run around and post some uh, little flyers for the store. And um, I have to go run a couple of errands and buy another shoe rack that you hang in your closets. Uh, let's get a little bit more organized because over the winter, I <laughs> I kind of was just so busy that I haven't done anything. So now um, I've slowed down a lot. I have my weekends free before I didn't have that um, ability to have some free time. So I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I don't have, I just got back from Charleston, which was really fun. So much fun. Um, like I said, my friend got married and um, we just had a whole week of s so many activities and group things. I will post, we did a vintage bathing suit. It was all her idea. The bride was just phenomenal. But um, I post a lot of the pictures on my, my Pinterest account. Um, I'll link that below because I have um, a Pinterest account. If you want to follow me, you can. But um, it's under Bachelorette Fun. I posted all of the pictures. But we did a vintage photo shoot on her bachelorette day that morning and we all wore it was like really retro and the suit that I wore was a Marc Jacobs suit it was um like the high-waisted one it was like the neon pink that um was on ASOS and Neiman Marcus I got it from two separate stores a top from a different store because they were sold out of the I get two different sizes I'm rambling. Anyways, um, so I have the suit posted on Pinterest, but I will put it on my blog as well. A couple of pictures um, from that day. The girls were so much fun, and all of them are so beautiful. And it was just a really good idea for for a bachelorette, uh, like the morning of, of that anyways. And then the dinner was what I had planned, and um, I was really pleased with how it turned out. Uh, we ate at Tristan's in South Carolina. That place, amazing food. Like, uh, such phenomenal food. It serves great. Uh, we had a private room. Oh, look. This is a, uh, this is one of the favor bags. And we had the, the pink, and then we also had um, a Tiffany blue color. I didn't get, I didn't take two, because they were favor bags for everyone else. I just got 12, because there was 12 of us. But um, I got these off of Etsy. And um, I didn't really realize like the size of them, but it's a great size. And we put like, um, I won't say the names of it, but <laughs> risque little treats like gum and mints and shapes of parts <laughs> in the bags. And uh, it, was, it was gorgeous um, on the table. And then we also had off of Etsy, um, hold on one second, I'm going to grab it. It's, I still have to clean it. That's embarrassing. Um, I I've, haven't really unpacked fully, but these are like little Libby flutes that I got. Um, well, one of the, I found them on Etsy, but one of the other girls that was helping me plan it, she ordered these. Um, so, yeah. And then we had the title um, at the bottom of the glass. So each one, each girl had their own glass and then it was great because that was kind of like the assigned seating each person sat in front of their own glass and then it was even more great because we used them the morning of the wedding so we had all these the morning of and had a little bit more champagne and got to take a picture with it with our we got white robes and it was very southern like in the south it's pretty simple you always have your like robes and your little flutes and monogrammed everything and it was a lot of fun um, but I will post, if you're interested anyways, I, I'll have all that below for you guys to check out. And I will see you next time. Bye.